welcome back to Mayhem and Family Fun. Today, um, yeah, you may be asking, why did I not record yesterday? Because it was just a very sad day, but this is today's, yes, the one I just recorded, that's day 11, is yesterday. The day I didn't record, yesterday, when it stormed. Today's day 12 is today's. Now, in day 11, um, you guys may not have heard, but maybe it's not posted yet. I said there was a moral to every single story. And, yeah, there is. It's true. Every single story has a meaning of why it was written. So, today, our main focus is, we're going to be reading, but I have three books. We're going to be looking at the purpose of Henry and Budge. Yeah, even that book has this, and the cat in the hat. Yeah, every single book has, every single book has a moral. Um, you may be thinking, that may not be true. If there, if you think there isn't a moral in a book, like if, let's say like you're reading this book. Oh, fun. You get to the end, and you know, you're thinking about the moral. And you say, there was no moral. No, there is a moral. You just have to search the book and think of what you read. And once you come up with a moral, that's the moral of the book. And maybe you can, maybe you're a teacher one day, and you're, you can't just find the moral. And one of your students is a moral. Maybe they read my read-alouds and I explained it all good. No, 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 no. Um, yeah, basically... Yeah, basically, we're going to be enjoying this one. Because we are going to be deep, going deep into the story. Deep into the story. So the first book we're going to search for purposes is Henry and Rina Munch. There must be a thunderstorm coming, said Henry. Uh-oh, Henry does not like thunderstorms. They made him jumpy, but they made him jumpier. Mudge is jumpier. Let's see, the wind is catching up. Every time a storm came, Mudge did strange things. So it looks like he's just walking around the table. Walking around that table. He whined. He walked around the kitchen table about a hundred times. He sat in the bathroom alone. He put his head between the couch cushions. The only thing Henry did was whistle a lot. Lightning crash and thunder would boom and Henry would whistle. So while it's thundering, he was whistling. He whistled jingle bells, he whistled happy birthday, he even whistled the star spangled banner, not very well. Now you may be asking, what do I mean he didn't sing very well? That means he like didn't like he probably sang like happy like no say can you say that might be the national anthem. I don't even know what that one is, but Henry knew what to do when the wild wind started. Come on, Mudge! He headed for the house, and once the wind blew open, it blew open the screen door. You see, the swing is like tied up in a knot. Whistling and whining like crazy, Henry and the Mudge went inside. So they're going inside. Pows and booms! Sky turned very dark. Henry's mother turned on the lights, and Henry's father shut all the windows. Henry and Mudge sat on the couch waiting. Splat! Boops. Rain again. So we're sitting on the couch nervously. Dad shut the window, and she's turning on the lights. Then pow! Went the lightning. Boom! Went the thunder. Mudge would sit in the bathroom. Went to sit in the bathroom. Mudge! Henry called. Mudge wouldn't come. He wouldn't come back. So he's in. He's gonna walk to the bathroom. Chicken! Henry grumbled. He started whistling jingle bells, but he missed Mudge. Henry went to the bathroom. He looked at Mudge. Mudge looked at him. Pow went the lightning. See, he found him in the bathroom. Poor doggy. Come on, Mudge, said Henry. Let's go in the kitchen. Mudge wagged his, his, his tail a little. He's Henry. He followed Henry into the kitchen. Henry's mother and Henry's father were having cups of tea at the table. You see, his tail was just a little bit. Boom! 
left behind, walk around the table in a circle, and began to whistle. So they're having some tea. What married couples do? They have tea. Want some cocoa? Henry's mother asked. Sure, said Henry. Pow! Went the lightning. Henry whisked a star spangled banner. Mudge went around the table for the tenth time. So she's asking him if he wants some hot cocoa. And he said, yeah. Henry's father and Henry's mother just looked at each other. So he starts going around the table. You can see his, his coffee spill. Because he wasn't holding on to it, the mother was. The enemy couch. Pow! The light went out. Uh oh, said Henry's father. Henry switched to Happy Birthday, and Mudge went to the living room with his head on the couch. And the power went out, and Mudge was going to go into. Yeah, no! Henry's mother brought some candles. Henry started the fifth round of Happy Birthday. Wait, wait, said Henry's father. She's putting up some candles, and he's whistling. By the way, hashtag to this. Maybe you should stop whistling, he said to Henry, and play a game. Boom! Went the thunder. Um, what kind of game? Asked Henry. Uh, let's see, Henry's father. He's trying to think fast. How about crawling through the enemy line game? He said. So he's telling his um, trying to stop whistling, and just, oh no, play a game. So that's my happy. What is the friend we're at the enemy camp? Henry's father whispered, it's your job to rescue them. Henry looked into the living room. Mudge still had his head in the couch. Uh-huh, said Henry. Let's see. Henry's checking on him, and Mudge's head is in the couch. Pow! Oh, hear that enemy fire? Said Henry's father. Boom! Is that the cannon? Henry's father's were big. Henry nodded. He was ready to cross the enemy lines. He was ready to free Mudge from the enemy couch. So we're about to play the enemy couch game. Don't forget to take a flashlight to Henry's father. Walk out for scorpions. Henry grabbed the light and dropped to the floor. He crawled inch by inch across the enemy kitchen. Pow, boom. So he's crawling and you can see right here a little spider. He crawled inch by inch and across the dining room. Pow, boom. He's under the table. He crawled right into the enemy camp. There was his best friend Mudge and bravely waiting for the night in the couch. Let's see. His head's in the couch. Mudge oh, whispered. Henry. The brave friend lifted his ear, so he lifted his ear. Mudge! Henry whispered louder. His brave friend wagged his tail. So he's wagging his tail. Come on, Mudge! Henry crawled over and pulled on his best friend's collar. You're free now! So he's telling them you're free from the enemy couch. Much sniffed the air for free, oh, freedom. Much sniffed the socks of his rescuer. Pow! Boom! Much sniffed the fast track to the bathroom. So he's going back to the bathroom. Henry frowned. I hope Mud would stay. At least he missed the scorpion, said Henry's father. Henry grinned a little. At least you know where to find Mud if you need him, Henry's father said. Right, Henry laughed. So they're having some hot cocoa. Above their heads. For the rest of the storm, Henry sat at the kitchen table with his parents. They played cards by candle, candlelight. So they're playing all playing cards. The whole family is cards. They can't hold anything. So there were only little pals and teed booms. But there weren't any. Then there weren't any. The lights came back on and the sky cleared. And Mudge came out of the bathroom wagging as he's been to a cracker factory. Cracker factory. So they're all happy that the lights are back on. Henry and Mudge went outside and sniffed the fresh air. And felt the wet leaves. So it's nice outside and Henry's feeling some wet leaves and Mudge is just smelling the fresh air. It was like raining. It was like painting a great rainbow. Painting a great giant rainbow rose up above them and a beautiful color right above their head. You can see right above their head is a rainbow. This is how it works. So, we're going to be looking at some morals. Okay, by the way, this moral. Um, have you found the moral yet? If you have, um, what is it? Like, are me and you guessing the same thing? 
So the moral I thought is that be brave, be brave for the thunderstorm, and just wait for the storm out. And at the end, you'll probably get a happy, beautiful family and a rainbow. Okay, the books I read is Leaves, 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 and Chicka Chicka Boom Boom. So, go see those books um, in Day 11. But Leaves had a moral, too. It, it was, go look, go on a uh, leaf walk and find the beautiful leaves you can. And just look. Just tell everybody what you say on it, and if your mother is a leaf genius, or look it up, look it up, you get to find out what kind of leaf that is. So if you look up kinds of leaves, then you'll definitely get it. Okay, chicka chicka boom boom, this book like it didn't have any leaves, but it did. You gotta be safe when you're climbing trees, because if way too many people come up in the tree, this is you and your friend. The tree comes down, and you guys may be hurt. So that's the moral of that story. The next book we're gonna read is A Cat in the Hat. A Cat in the Hat. I've been seeing you floating up the fish with an umbrella. The sun did not shine. It was too wet to play. So we sat in the house on a on that cold, cold wet day. You see, it's raining, and it got to very cold, and I have to stay in. Look, I sat there with Sally. We sat there with me too. And I said, how I wish we had something to do. Too wet to go out, too cold to play. Well, so we sat in the house, we did nothing at all. But there's some stuff over here to play with, you know. So all we could do was sit, 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 sit. We did we did not like it, not one little bit. So Sally and him are sitting with their siblings. Boom! And then something went bump. How would that bump made us jump on? So they jumped and the fish looked over too. We looked and we saw him step on the mat. We looked, we saw him. The cat and the hat, he said to us, Why do you sit there like that? See the children see you and the hat come in. And I know it's wet. And it is the sun is not shiny. It's not sunny. But we can have lots of fun. That is fun. So keep telling the kids we're gonna have fun no matter what. I know some good games we can play, said the cat. I know some good tricks. Said the cat the hat. A lot of good tricks. I'll show you, and I'll show them to your mother. We will not mind at all if I do. Okay, hold on. Actually, just kidding. We're going to read this book. We're going to save the books for the next moral of the story.